More CHW system. This is a question where almost all engineers ask while interviews. Hi viewers, I am Offrey Nally. I brought this video for how to calculate head pressure of pump for a CHW system. Kindly subscribe my channel. There are two types of head static head, which is due to height difference, second is dynamic head, which is due to the losses while flow like losses in pipe due to friction bends and due to piping accessories like faves, coils, etc. As chilled water systems are closed loop so the static head at is zero in the chilled water system, not for cooling TOWR if applicable because condenser pumps for cooling towers are open circuit. So the pressure for CHW system will be calculated by adding all the piping in the maximum pressure drop route and add friction losses, bending and coil losses losses in equipments etc thus adding all of them will give you the pressure head example two different pressures all friction losses are for pump capacity sizing basically how much water the pump can pump this would be the same if the same piping system is 900 feet high or 900 feet wide the static pressure depends on height and is important for selection of equipment relief valves etc so it doesn't explode at the highest pressure you need to imagine the hydrostatic pressure plus the pump pressure at detail location. Pump pressure at pump section side is zero. At discharge the max what the pump can do, assume someone overrides the VFD. Consider gravity of fluid. For water every 2.3 feet you increase by one side. This will be less for lighter fluids. More for denser fluids.